Good morning, Kawartha Heights, and welcome to a new day. It's time for our morning video announcements for Wednesday, May the 13th. Aujourd'hui, c'est mercredi, le 13 mai. Did you know that today is Dance Like a Chicken Day? This special day encourages everyone to dance like a chicken. So find a time to flap your arms and strut chicken-like. Maybe you can even pop on the music and do the chicken dance. And you may remember that yesterday was National Limerick Day. Well, a few special people actually wrote a limerick that I'd like to share with you. So here's one from Mrs. Hiscock that is very timely for what we're going through right now. We wish that we could be in class, but instead we're looking through glass. We can ride our bikes or take some hikes as long as five people we don't surpass. And Mr. Sampson has been listening to our morning announcements as well, and he's been watching our cougar move out west, so he wrote this limerick for us. Since our cougar's gone west on his wheels, he's been fueling his trip with big meals. Eight burgers with ease, large pizzas with cheese, plus the all-you-can-eat food deals. I hope you enjoyed that bit of fun this morning. Today we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Arwen in Mr. Guerin's class. We hope you have a great day today. Today I wanted to check in and see how your short promotion videos are coming along. I received our first submission last night and it's so good. You can send it in to me this week or over the next several weeks. Remember, if your video is selected to be shown on the morning video announcements, you'll receive your choice of a gift certificate for $10 for Chapters or Best Buy. We really look forward to seeing what videos you come up with. Also today, a reminder that at 3 p.m. we'll be having our second YouTube Live story time. I'm going to be bringing along a little special friend of mine today, so grab your stuffies and join me. You can find the link for story time on Edsby. Today we have a few pictures to share with you. Mrs. Ross was busy practicing her sight words this week, and she turned them into a hopscotch game. Heidi used some toothpicks to make a house. She used 18 in total. Kira and little Harvey went outside and had some great adventures. And finally, Logan got out in the neighborhood and went on a number hunt. Look what number he found. Today's Would You Rather is about helping your parents out around the house. So here you go. Would you rather set the table before dinner every day or wash the dishes after dinner every day? Well, those are all the announcements for today. It's time for a mindful moment. So find a comfy place to sit and let's spend a few minutes grounding ourselves this morning. Close your eyes and take a very deep breath. Keep breathing deeply and feel the cool air come in through your nose and flow all the way down to your belly. Feel your belly extend as you breathe in. Now listen carefully to all the quiet sounds outside and around you. You may hear outside noises, maybe cars, birds, or something else. Just listen. Now, turn your focus within. Listen quietly to what you hear happening within your body. Can you hear your heart beating? Can you hear your breath as you breathe slowly in and out? Maybe your tummy's making noises or you're listening to the sound of your breath or your heartbeat. Whatever's going on inside, just take time to listen. Imagine now inside of you, there is a big, beautiful bucket. Everyone has one, though we can't see it with our eyes. When we feel good, our buckets are full. And when we're feeling down or bad, our buckets are low or even empty. Did you know that when you fill someone else's bucket with kindness, helpfulness, or even a smile, your own bucket gets filled up too? 
That's actually the way we fill our buckets. When we share goodness or gratitude and think happy thoughts, our buckets are filled with so much goodness. Now when you're ready, take in one more deep breath. Open your eyes and give your wonderful body a big, wonderful stretch. Remember to take care of yourself and each other and have a great day today, Kawartha Heights.